Okay, here's our example. And we're talking about a circle, and we're looking at half of the circle. And we're teaching it about the x axis to get that form. So you need a visual, have some sense of visualization to see what we're doing here. If I say f of x is the square root of 9 minus x squared. It's the same as y squared minus x squared. Square both sides, what are you talking about? y squared nine minus x squared or x squared plus y squared equals nine. What kind of picture is x squared plus y squared equals nine? What picture is that? What kind of graph is that? Yeah, man, it's supposed to know that. It's a circle. It's a circle. And what's my radius going to be? What is circle? Three. Okay, my radius is three. That's what this is. It's a circle of radius three. But we're saying, don't look at the circle, just look at this, which is which is the upper part, because the upper part of that circle. So I'm saying this. Y. X. One, two, three. Alright? Uh, I'm going. The problem says go from negative 2 to positive 2. So we're looking at this piece of the circle, and so this goes like this. The circle radius is 3, so it's like this. 1, 2, 3, maybe 1, maybe 1, maybe 2. Oh, that was my circle here. Well, this, this is this circle right here at the origin. I would draw it all the way here. But I'm not drawing this whole circle. I'm only looking at this piece here. And this piece goes like this. That's the upper part. That's this. I'm saying the problem says rotate this above the x axis. But only from here to here. Rotate this above the x axis. So, so if I rotate it. I'm looking at this piece right here. There you go. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you're supposed to have 
that's good. But how many of you are really here? That's the question. Yeah, whatever way you put it, you can go and just take the exact answer that you're doing. But you take my question, but oh, he showed all the steps. Okay, okay, I don't say no time to say that. You practice. <laughs> practice, practice, that's all, no time to say that. So there you go. Ah, 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 thank you. Where are you? You went out to the pro. Yeah, yeah. All right. Eric said we shouldn't write all this on the board. Hey. Simplify it. Simplify it. You cancel out. You get minus x over the square root of 9 minus x squared. Everybody agree? This is x axis right here. This is the this is what we got. We got this. This part of the circle. You know what I'm saying? Turn it around. Turn it around. Remember? The same thing we did the other time. I got this. This piece right here. Hey. Okay. And I'm saying, roll it, roll it. Then we roll it and we get this. That was this thing. This thing we roll it, we get this. Out of that. So this is a ball. Half of a ball we got. And we roll it over. That's what we got there. So we're trying to find what's the, what's the skin here in that ball. That's what we do. Okay? So we start with this. Then we roll it. So we're down like this. I'm a ball right there. I'm trying to find the skin. Right. Yeah, my formula. Okay, so, 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 this, I put it here and I'm going to square it. Now, this way, yeah, you get algebra, and that calculus too. You know how to find that derivative, t root. So, I put it in there. This whole thing. At the bottom, the square root of 9 minus x squared. And I'm going to square it because that's my root there. I'm going to put my dx right here. All right, kind of looks, looks like a hard problem. But no big deal because it's not that hard. We're going to simplify it. Negative 2 to 2. This is 2 pi. Okay. Uh, this is square root of 9 minus x squared still there. All right, I'm, I'm squaring this. So I still have this big square root. I got a 1 plus, if I square this, I get x squared on top. It gives positive x squared. If I square the square root, it drops out. I get a 9 minus x squared. dx outside. Some more algebra. Not calculus yet. I got square root. I got square root. I can put them together on a one big house. One big house. If I put them together on a one big house, this integral from negative 2 to 2, my 2 pi, nothing happened to it. But one big house, like that. Put this there. Put this there. Got my dx. Okay, now what's my algebra? What can I cancel? Now I'm going to x squared. It cancels out. So the problem becomes easy. Look, it cancels out. Square root 
of 1 plus x squared. See that? Right? Okay, now I'm back to calculus 2. We've done this before. If I got the square root of and we got our rules. If it's x, 1 plus x squared, I do my, my, my change of variable. Do my substitution. Okay. Something wrong, yo. Okay, I forgot about this. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I made it too easy. <laughs> This time this, we get a 9 minus x squared. Plus this time, okay, that's where it cancels. I get a plus x squared. All right, this time this is 9 minus x squared. This time this, that's where the 9 minus x squared cancels. All agree? Yes. That's better. So I get the integral from negative 2 to 2, 2 pi. Simplify that. 9 minus x squared plus x squared. Look at that. It's even easier. Look at that. So we get square root. Uh, square root of 9 is 3, so this is the integral from negative 2 to 2 of 3 times 2, 6 pi. 6 pi dx. It's too simple. That's how it, that's how it came out to be. Are they too easy? Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. So it's not hard. Stop saying it's hot. You can do this on Friday. <laughs> but you got to do your algebra. Is that the, we do calculate yet. So it's algebra. So it's algebra. So now the rest of the other guy. Easy integration with that. Easy integration with that.